Jeez Louise, man. <clears throat> That's the emotion. That's, yeah. It's the act. It's it's putting the extra emotional feeling into the vocals of the song. Great day to play. Picked you out there, didn't I? You no, know, I was gonna start. I didn't. Oh, I didn't. It's a great little play, everybody. Welcome on into the channel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Whether it's first time here, you're joining us. Thank you for being here with us today. You're loved, appreciated, always welcome here in this channel. And you are. You're enough. Did you just point a gun at the audience? No, I'm I I'm trying to do the rock. Cuz I'm working out now, so I'm going to be the rock soon. Do you know how much steroids you need to take to be the rock? I do. And I've ordered them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just online. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of steroids and like 13,000 calories a day. We're doing it. Is what you need to be the We're rock. doing it. You, look you guys like, can probably already tell. You look like The Rock's, like, wrist. Yeah. Right yeah. now. I know, I understand, but it's going to happen. Brad's The Rock's pinky. I'm getting shin implants as well. Shin implants. Where they take your shin and cut them, and then they add six inches of shin. Oh, I understand. Yeah. So shin, I, some people call them shin plants. Yes. And I'm, so yeah. then I'll be 6'4", and I'll be good. Yeah. Today... We're going to be watching some more Rachel Ann Go, who we watched. I didn't even know we were watching videos today. I thought we were just hanging out. The camera's on. Oh, okay. That was wondering why you are doing the thing. Yeah. Okay. And right. we're wearing headphones and we're sitting here in front of a computer. Uh, I thought it was just to be better to hear you. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Hi, guys. <laughs> Rachel Ann Go, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> who we watched uh, do the duet with uh, Leia Salonga last week. Uh, Rachel Ango was also in Hamilton, and people had requested her version of Burn from Hamilton. Now, I'm hoping that this now this is on YouTube, so I don't think it'll get taken down, but it is not mm. from their official channel. It looks like it's like fan cam, okay. which is normally a no-no. Let's but, hope. But, I mean, it's up. Yeah. So we're going to give it a shot and see how it goes. And I hope that you guys like this. Please, if you haven't already, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow along their journey, check out our live stream Saturdays at Central Time, and you can check out our brand new single, My Light, that's out now on Spotify, Apple, Amazon, and all the other places that music exists. And while you are there, we have a brand new podcast out. Our second episode just came out at this point, so you can check that out if you want to hear more from us. But are you ready for this? Do you smell is that good? Yeah, you're I'm not, ready. You're not going to give up on this, are you? No. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be RJ. They're going to call me RJ Rock Jr. Anyway, let's go. I'm ready. miss the theater man <laughs> bless you i miss the theater i um it's not just vocal control when you're when you have to act at the same time mm -hmm. it brings in this whole other element yeah and <clears throat> i think about things like this where this needs to be a really really soft heartfelt song 
but every note has to be perfect and there's still a lot of projection and she's just sit, you know you're sitting on a bench and you also have to act and you also have to portray it through your through your facial expressions and you have to stay seated right and you're trying to project like there's just all these other moving pieces that I don't think people realize happens in live theater that doesn't necessarily happen in a lot of the other things right yeah it's it, it's an art form that people I, th I think the people that go and actually watch mm -hmm. it, it's 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 very it's like mind blowing. It's it, mm -hmm. it's almost like seeing uh, like a, a sunset. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. but there are a huge amount of people in the world that that make fun of show tunes and things yeah. like that. And it's like, dude, it it's not. There's a reason why people go and watch this. There's a mm -hmm. reason why people pay four hundred dollars for a ticket to go see this. Yeah, because it's amazing. Yeah. It's a, it's a completely different type of experience and one that takes in a, again when it's live it's a whole different amount of talent that you need right you know and and and, and um, when they make musicals into videos it never does it justice it hmm. never does because it's like yes you can do cooler things but the part of the cool aspect about it is that it is live it's that these the, these incredible things these incredible voices that you're like there's no way that that exists in a live setting right is happening right in front of your eyes oh, have you ever seen the shrek cool. musical i haven't dude it's on uh netflix i think really and the lady who plays fiona mm -hmm. i had the i have the biggest crush on her yeah oh man i don't even she's she's just so cute yeah yeah perfect fiona there's a bunch of different ones that i've like Phantom, I think, is probably one of the coolest in terms of set designs that I've ever seen. Like when the when the chandelier comes down and the way that they use like the boat goes through the set and stuff. That one's really cool. Wicked has some really crazy sets. The one that's kind of the coolest interactive for audiences is Lion King because mm. they like they bring like, all the people are different animals and mm. there'll be 60, 70 people. And the one that I went and saw, they brought them like into like the aisles and stuff right, like right. that because they have like the huge <laughs> birds and stuff yeah. they're on stilts and like when you with like it's that one is really just impressive just Ugh. from that kind of standpoint you know so each one kind of has its own i couldn't imagine i couldn't imagine a little thing but oh man her voice is so good <clears throat> That's the emotion. That's yeah. it's the act. It's it's putting the extra emotional feeling into the vocals of the song that right. gives you those chills. And it, it's, you know, <clears throat> it, it it's um it's the writing too. So like you can't do a performance like that without good writing. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. But like that that phrase that she just said, mm -hmm. you uh you brought this person into. What, what, uh, into she, our lives, right, and into our <clears throat> into our bed, right, yeah, yeah, and yeah. then yeah, and yeah. you told everybody about it, and yeah. like now she's hurt from, from you know she feels a fool, she feels a ah, dude. I still find like so th obviously this musical was inspired by a biography that I think it's Alex Chernoff wrote about Alexander Hamilton, and I've read it at mm -hmm. this point. It, it's 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 a good book don't get me wrong and I, the only reason i read it was because of this i found out about it because of this i was like how do you take this and turn it into a musical you know what i mean like especially a musical like this and then to have the foresight to write it in the way that they did and then specifically use the type of characters that you're using using heavily people of color to portray what was happening in terms of like race issues and stuff like that back in you know colonial right. times like, it, like it's just like who thinks about all of that? Like, yeah, I mean, you know what I mean. Lin Manuel Miranda is, <laughs> is a genius, a huge, huge idol. Yeah, but like, yeah. I just, I just, I don't, I don't understand like how the hell you get from point A to point we B. Should, sometimes. We should write a musical about about building the studio and being on the channel. 
Yeah. Yeah, you'll ha- you'll have your solo song that's called I work and work <laughs> and email and work all day and email and work. Yeah, it should yeah. turn into a Disney movie. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and that'll be yeah. that'll be your solo song because that's literally what yeah. you do all day. <laughs> yeah, it's true. They have a musical called The Producers, different like live production of of musicals and stuff yeah. like that. And at the end know. of the song, they'll go, "Hi guys, I'm here now." <laughs> we'll have the feature song. Will be called "It's a Great Day to Play." Yeah, 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 yeah. I like it. Let's do It'll it. It'll be a ballad though. It was a great day to play. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. In a way far off. And away. Okay, okay. And away far off and away. Okay, tentative lyrics. Got it. <laughs> Going between worlds, the lions and the squirrels. Okay, not following. But, <laughs> no, but, but yeah. the, you know, you, you go. Yeah, yeah tentative yeah. lyrics. But yeah, 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 yeah like good. It. You know, yeah. put a pin in that. Put a pin <laughs> we'll come in back later. <laughs> absolutely wild absolutely wild i <clears throat> it's it's so hard to invoke so much emotion unless you are playing like in, obviously she is live mm-hmm. um but like in a recording it's very hard to do and we've been i haven't played live in three years mm-hmm. since since before the pandemic and we're in the studio all the time yeah <clears throat> and we and you know it's we, you try and you try but like Without knowing that a bunch of people are feeling that, it's very mm-hmm. hard to portray that kind of emotion. And like, she didn't do anything too particular, mm-hmm. or like, or she didn't do a growl or anything. It's yeah. just the way that it hit. Like, it almost was like there was a there was a musical lump in her throat. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. ah, I don't it's, even know how to explain it. Great theater is subtle nuance. Right. Right. Like, it's not overdoing it. It's not like old Shakespearean theater. You know, like. Yeah. To be or not to be, you know, like yeah. it's, it's the subtle nuance. And honestly, I mean, the good acting—that's what it's about, right? Yeah. Because people, I think, they think of acting and think that of overacting. And the reality is, right. is like, the what makes it reality is like the you and I having the conversation right now. Like that's the reality. You need to pull off and make people think that it's just normal everyday yeah. people. So they, so you get sucked into the story. Right. And like that's just what makes you know. There's just certain voices out there that are just incredible at doing that and portraying that. All right, it's probably gonna freeze again real quick. I don't know what's going on with it, but. That's not easy. Dude, so powerful. <clears throat> really, really, like, man, I missed that bus. I, w- I was too busy being a, a, a ba- like, just a bad boy kind of mm-hmm. deal. 
I never got to do theater, theater, and man, I missed that bus. That was my escape, man. Like that, that was all I, that was all I had. Um, like when I remember, because like I had it, dude. I had a rough school, and uh, like I would go, because I was skipping a lot of my classes. I would go to school just for like <clears throat> choir classes the yep. day, and then I'd leave, and then I'd come back, and like for uh, shows and stuff. Right after school like that that's all that was getting me through for a lot of my childhood dude i was like i don't even remember like clearly wasn't legal i remember i was working full time 16 oh, years old during during school hours right 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 you know like so i would like go to work come back like it was yeah it was it was messed up but man. yeah man like i don't know there, there's just something there's something about it and um it gave me also a lot of confidence that i didn't have in like the rest of my life like when you're just there just for those you know that hour hour and a half being able to be a different person and having people appreciate you yeah was like something that like was like yeah. kind of weird to me you know yeah, so I wish intense I, I wish i would have done that i I, mm. I would skip school and then only go to theory yeah and my theory class was me sitting with a piano and a book <laughs> yeah and that's it no one else was in the room yeah <clears throat> that's why still to this day like when i'm writing or something and you say yeah. something i'm like <clears throat> because like i it's hard for me to uh do that like yeah. when, especially when i'm in the zone so like i would go to school go go into the woods smoke cigarettes with my friends and then go go to theory and like that's it man very cool weird kids if you're watching don't do any of those things that don't do any of those actually things. go to the rest of your school yeah. there was there was reasons <laughs> uh for that but yeah. uh yeah you know uh seriously though it's uh she has something you know there, there are generational voices, and they're good. Like, I've seen so many musicals, and there's so many talented people out there, but there are definitely people that stand out that set the bar for the parts that they play. Yeah. And, uh, man, is she talented. Wow. All right. Well, thank you guys so, so much for the request on this one. This, of course, came in from our brand-new reaction request list that you can find in the description below and request your own stuff. So keep those coming. If you haven't liked, subscribed, and hit the notification bell. Make sure you do that. Follow along with our journey. Check out our live stream Saturdays, noon central time, and our brand new single, My Light, that's out now on Spotify, Apple, and Amazon. And while you're there, also add our brand new podcast, The Good Kid Dad Show, to your playlist. Yeah. I think these fine, fine folks need a uh, little, uh, you know, little uh, sushi. Fire. Sushi. Fire. Two things that don't usually go together. I mean, yeah unless you want them to burn your sushi folks burn all the <laughs> burn sushi, the sushi. Mm, that would be good though. all right <laughs> if nobody told you that they love you today please don't forget that we love you you're appreciated always welcome here in this channel and you are enough and last but certainly not least it was a great day to play thanks guys we'll see you in the next video actually isn't it it's a great day to play we gotta work on that yeah yeah we gotta work like on that. that we're gonna make a musical all right guys bye